Hi, Chris Dicker here from IFM Effector. I'm the product manager for the vibration monitoring equipment and today I'd like to quickly go through and show you how to affect a connection between Ethernet and the diagnostic amplifier. Many new people have trouble initially uh, creating a connection and I just wanted to show you today how easy it is. So first up we open our VES004 software, go to project and create a new project. So you'll see that it automatically creates a project. You can rename this to whatever you want, but project 05 will do for me fine. Click OK. So the next thing you need to do is to actually select a device. So if you had a new vibration monitor, and here you will see the amplifiers. So it's a VSC002, VSC100, VSC150, VSC151, and a VSC153. So the VSC151 is what I actually have connected now. So it is on a one-to-one -one Ethernet cable. It's powered up and turned on and plugged in. So you can also see the Ethernet lights flashing. So if you don't have lights flashing, it means you probably have a crook cable. So make sure that you do see some activity on your Ethernet before you start. So anyway, I'll select the Ethernet IP version that I want. So it's a VSC151. And you'll see the default address here. So 192.168.0.1 uh, with the port 3321. So if I try to connect now, as most people will try to do, it won't work. It's taken too long to actually uh, connect. Normally it happens in a few seconds. You see there it's unable to connect a device, the VSC 151 to the default address there and it will tr continue to try. So it continues to poll even though it's not uh, not connected. So we'll select OK. But the reason it's not talking is we're not, we don't have a setting right. So if you click on the network adapter settings and if you have a look, you'll find an Ethernet setting here. Well, hopefully you've got admin rights, otherwise you have to get the administrator to do this. Uh, but you need to change the adapter options. This is your network here, the Ethernet there's one here, double click on it and click you if you want to make a network connection change, say yes. Select the internet protocol version 4, TCLP version 4, click on properties and that is why it doesn't talk because it's trying to obtain address through DHCP. So when you normally connect to a, um, through the ethernet port to the internet, uh, it'll be doing a DHCP connection. But because we need to talk to a, a specific address, we have to use use the following IP address. So if you remember the range is 192.168.0.0.0 and the last one is the address of the PC. So you just put a subnet masking of the standard version 2.255.255.255.0. Go OK. Close the windows. And you should always select the actual amplifier itself and then go device because we try to connect before we disconnect it first. Select it again and then connect. And we should get a connection straight away. So there's several ways you can connect it. There's more than one way, so it's going to cat in the software. So you can either do it here or do it here again, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as we get these icons talking, all right, so they're all highlighted now and you've got a green dot. That means you're connected and you're ready to go to the next step. So just one thing before we uh, we go, just remember when you finish the project to go device and disconnect and then everything is set up correctly for next time. And the other thing is to remember is when you finish with your software and you want to use the ethernet again, go back to your settings and set it back to DHCP, otherwise you'll never get back on there again. Okay, hopefully uh, that's uh, made it easy for you. So bye for now. IFM, close to you.